Hello, Monsters Band here, and welcome back to Total War, Warhammer 3, and part 3 of my Festus campaign. Now, I don't want to alarm anyone, but here in the UK, there's this, this yellowy-orange ball in the sky, and it's making things really hot, and it's not fucking off. On top of that, my grass has gone all crunchy. I'm kind of scared. Can someone send help? I don't know. Who, like Batman or something? Send Batman. That's fine. Spider Man. I, we don't very, very many high rise buildings, so I don't know if Spider Man would. He'd have to probably have to just walk, which probably not as effective. Anyway, last time we beat up the Black Pit Tribe because they, well, to be fair, they attacked us. Um, now, I, uh, I thought I could vassalize orcs, but I. Well, no, it says become vassal. So theoretically, I should be able to vassalize them. Maybe. I need to... Maybe if it's only their last, it's their last settlement and they have no armies, maybe that's the thing. Because I know they've got an army wandering around somewhere. So if we kill that... I mean, we could just peace out with them. They're a little bit shitty, but I reckon, you know, we could probably... Well, maybe. It would get better eventually, but they also don't like the, the Beastmen. So, uh, what do I do? Do I kill them? Do I make fr I, I, what I want is to vassalize them. <sighs> Maybe I'll go and kill the Wood Elves. That'll give me time to. Oh, there they are. That'll give me time to think things through. Killing Wood Elves is good thinking time. It's like being on the loo and having a really good poo. In many respects. Oh, you're attacking that, are you? Other brands? Really? Mate. Alright. Alright. I cannot wait to get. You want, oh, you're going to give me lots of money as well. Um, only if you do... I, I don't need the money, but if you become a vassal. You're not going to accept that, so... Fuck that, then. Basically, no. No. No, I don't... I don't quite know what I want to do with you, but it's not that. Oh, the Wood Elves. Oh, look. The Wood Elves have come out to play. Oh. Oh, Wood Elves. That's... that's a big mistake on your part. Now, I just noticed that in that mode, if you... I guess it doesn't... It doesn't try... it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, right, you may be wondering why I'm, I'm now sending Dr. James Wilson to solo charge the enemy army while Samuel just sort of stands back. Now, some, some people who aren't in the know about how to play Total War might suggest that maybe I'd gotten the two characters mixed up and hadn't noticed. Anyway, so... So James is solo charging the entire enemy army while the rest of the army catches up. The Nurglings, who are there to take take the uh, the brunt of the missile fire, did. Uh, but now they're concentrating fire on the Chaos Warriors of Nurgle, who are coming up behind them. Festus, keep staying close to the Chaos Giant, just because I know for a fact that they're probably going to throw everything they've got at him and more. The Doggos are currently meandering around behind the enemy army. So they can get in amongst those archers and eat them, bite them on the bum. I've slowed down these eternal guards to allow the doggos to get past. However, this is a little bit dicey because those guys will come and charge them in the back and that will then be a bit of a problem. But I think dealing with the archers is more important than the doggos. What's some eternal guard breaking off to engage? The dryads bleed. I'm sure they just have like sap or something. Oh well, they're in a lot of trouble. They are a little bit surrounded. And getting destroyed. Elsewhere, the poor old Chaos Giant, yeah, he is taking a lot of fire and he's actually broken away from where Festus was, so he's not getting healed anymore. Uh, I think he's after the enemy general. Fortunately, the trolls there to back us up. 
Now, thankfully, this army was marching, which means it's tired. I was very tired. Which is going to make life a lot easier for us. God, Wood Elves are a pain in the ass. They really are. They always do so much damage. Come back here, little shits. You're not going to have to forgive. You're going to be dead. All right, looks like the Wood Elves are being overwhelmed on all fronts. You know what? James did very well. I, I did throw him into combat, but he, he did okay. He didn't die. Good job. It's the it's the it's his good it's his good bonuses. He's actually got pretty good melee attack, defense, and weapon strength, so you know he's fine. The Tunnel Guards are holding back the Marauders, which would be fine. If, if they had any support, they do not. Uh, some Dryads coming back to the fight, which is not particularly good for these Chaos Warriors. And uh, those Doggos, these Chaos Warriors are taking an absolute battering. But they should be okay. I mean, they're Chaos Warriors with, with great weapons. Big old bloody axes. Best of the best. The Off they go. The Dryads are now getting the hell out of Dodge. And, of course, because this army was marching, uh, they're all dead. Gah! What else the worst? Oh, let's take... I mean, I would like the money. But... I love getting specimens away. But, as we have smushed their army, torching their settlement is going to be a lot easier. So that's nice. I mean, not for them, obviously, but for me. Uh, oh, he's got a chariot. I don't know if I want you in a chariot, but maybe I'll let you keep it for a minute. Do, do I want another... Yeah, I do want another giant. Let's be honest with... I'm not, I can't lie to myself. Be true to yourself. Always. Get, get more giants. There's some people going up, but giants are rubbish. Disagree. Strongly fucking disagree. Giants are the best boys. Let giants into your life. Obviously you need the space, but... You know. It, it's fine. A ruinous leader. That doesn't sound like a good thing. That sounds like a toxic work environment, to be honest. Ruinous leadership. Um, I don't really need that, do I? You've currently got one. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Can we upgrade anyone? No. Well, no, that's not true. We can. Uh, so the difference is, you have the armor piercing, you don't. You both base. You've got slightly more melee defense. But to be honest, I I was kind of looking. I think we I think we can get about fifty percent missile resistance. In which case, do we need shields? Do we need shields if we have fifty percent missile resistance? I'm gonna say, probably not. So, fuck it. More big axes. That's that's the way forward. Give the people what they want. Big axes. Uh, so how much do you cost? 214. You cost 118. So quite a bit more expensive. But we'll just upgrade everyone we can. Uh, and eventually, hopefully... Oh, you're, you're just a normal box standing... I didn't, I didn't even realise you were just a normal box standing chaos. Where I thought you... Okay, well, obviously... Can we not upgrade you... No? It says no. Bit odd. I thought we could give you a mark, but apparently we can't. Uh, is that true? Or is it just being weird? I guess we could make you into aspiring champions eventually. That might not be a bad thing. Alright. Alright. I'll, I'll keep that under consideration. Let's go with... Uh, what was I thinking here? I was thinking... Yeah, okay. Let's go Ruinous Wrath. 
And smoke and mirrors may not be the worst thing. We're quite a slow army. So being a little bit little bit nippier on the old feats. Now they do have an army down there, but we've got a reasonably good garrison, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Uh could go clinical hygiene. Bedside nope. An apple a day. We get give slime trail. I mean that's pretty good. Plus twenty five percent hit points. That's fucking ludicrous. That's insane. But do I want you to be demonic? Uh, so let's do that and that. It's gonna make everyone slower. It also makes Festus demonic, and I'm not entirely sure that is actually a bonus because. Rather than running away, he'll just die, which isn't ideal. But I guess we're... I mean, he, he does have 7,000 hit points. So he's a fairly tanky boy. I think I think he should be okay. Uh, let's maybe do... What did we need? We needed uh, pestilence. Pestilence and mucus runs. Mucus runs are that one. Pestilence is there. So we want more of this. This is... If we spread it 50, uh, 50 times, that's 32. Okay, we'll do that. This doesn't cause attrition, though, does it? Does anything cause attrition? It says... Attrition plus 50%, but you don't suffer attrition by default? Or do you? I genuinely don't know. Alright, let's just throw that in there and see. Um, less speed, sure. Let's do that. Let's inflict that there. I'm gonna leave that for a minute. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna torch Lulorn Forest because otherwise it'll start spawning nasty elves. I fucking hate those guys. Hey, Carl, you're declaring war on me. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't see that coming. I kind of did. I I did see that one coming. To be fair. Also, is Altdorf a dark fortress? Because if so, you should go and nip. I can grab that one. That bad boy. Is it? Hello. Yep. Does it? Alright. So, it is not without reason, they say, Dr. Festus' curative powers are greater than any other who walk the world. Not that he has any interest in healing others. Since being gifted intimate knowledge of disease by Father Nurgle, he has been consumed by an insatiable and ruthless desire to experiment. A sliver of the Plague Lord's boundless delight in perpetrating the cycle of life and death. Thus, f I, f Thyrus, Festus, fucking Thyrus, Festus forever, forever seeks exotic ingredients to brew his noxious potions, frequently foraying into the realm of Nurgle via fluctuating portals known only to him, in the hopes of harvesting something delectably vomit-inducing. He is due such an expedition, though. This time he must be pleasantly surprised... And what awaits beyond the veil? That does look pretty good. It's a bunch. Oh, oh, Cygors. Ooh, I've not, I've not done that one before. Okay, let's go and torch Lulon Forest because fuck what else. Boop. And raise. Right, no more wood elves. Well, I mean, not here anyway. Are you replenishing? Ah. Oh. That could not have gone better. Strategic camp location for the Empire, really. Uh, right. I need more Dark Fortress. Where the fuck are Dark Fortresses these days, eh? Am I going to have to go north to get more? It's a, it's a tricky pickle, isn't it? It's a tricky pickle. And no mistake. This building is going to give us more control. Also, increase income from all buildings for adjacent allied or vassal regions. Obviously, quite useful if you have vassals. I don't. Speak up, or I'll take your tongue. Would you be friends? I think I think we need to be friends. Also, give me money. Yes, yes. All right. That's, you know, maybe, maybe we can be friends. I have killed some people that they don't like. I don't, I don't think that. I, d I don't think that poor old um, lost his face is going to survive, to be honest. Kazrak, that's the one. I, uh, I, I don't know. He might be all right. 
Let's get a loot heap. Everyone loves a loot heap. Everyone. Everyone loves a pile of loot. Nothing better. Alright, well, we'll try and keep the, the green skins alive. I don't know where that army went to, though. It's not a big problem. We might have to... Might have to head into Norska to get more Dark Fortresses. I genuinely don't know where the, ne the nearest one is after Midnight. Marienburg's destroyed. Like, Marienburg isn't one. Altdorf apparently isn't one. Erengrad, no. I bet Prague is. I bet Prague's a lovely... A lovely thingamajig. Stuff receiving plague, which is all good. Let's go for the Rite of Ascension to unlock Chosen. More and we will meander down here to finally put the nail in Daddy, I think. We're going to nail Daddy. That's right. You heard it here first. We're going to absolutely fucking nail him. Ooh. Is there actually an aspiring champion there? No, it says zero of one. Uh, so, I guess that's fine. We could get another, another, another boy. Could get Lothar here. He likes Nurgle. He's a Nurgle boy. Evil Eye boy. Chaos. Evil, evil Eye boy. Eye, eyeball. Opened eyes. Lots of eyes going on here. Iron skin. Um, should we get Lothar? We shall the fates. Can we, though? We do have some Forsaken here. And, ooh, Spawn of Nurgle as well. So we could start building this second army up. I think that's probably a good ship. Hello? Hello, sir? Uh, do we want clinical hygiene? I guess that, you know, like poison effects and stuff aren't going to affect us then. So basically we're immune to that, so that's quite good. We'll grab that one then. A measure of progress. We'll grab that one. And I guess I could make you thick skin. I mean, 15 armor isn't a huge amount, I guess, when you've already got 110. Let's go Deadly Blades. Let's go Deadly Blades. And I'm not entirely sure. Oh, now I can upgrade you. Okay, it was just being weird. That's fine. That, if, if you're just being weird, that's fine. I was just going to make big axe boys, wasn't I? I mean, I might want to swap these out, but I could always trade them over to other armies. I'm just going to go, yeah. I like big axes, and I cannot lie. Do, oh, maybe it's because I didn't have the money. Is that why I just run out of money and I wasn't actually looking at the money part? I was just I was just hammering the upgrade button. I bet that's why. That sounds that sounds like something I'd do. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, Samuel just learned shit. He's got pure devotion. Bless him. Bless his three lies. Oh, shit, he's actually made another army. Holy fuck. All right, we'll kill all of you. And do I just sack you? I might just sack you. Sack you for the cash. What can I say? Uh, let's get evasion. How much? Oh, you do have Winds of Magic. It is increasing. That's good. You're just going to stay there. I mean, to be honest, the longer you're there, the more chance of you picking up... Just do some recruitment. Um, the more chance for you just like leveling up and stuff. That's that's what I think. Uh, is there anything I want here? There's no point building this at the moment. I wouldn't mind more exalted heroes. More exalted heroes, not the worst thing. That provides garrison, also gives capacity. That potentially gives us chaos lights, plus favor from all buildings. Oh, I did remember this one gives actually extra money, doesn't it? 
So this this one settlement is making 2k by itself. That's all right, isn't it? I mean, the little settlement's probably not worth it. I think what we need to do is we, we need to nail Daddy, don't we? I think that's what we need to do. But realistically, what I need is like a vassal to give these settlements to because I cannot be asked to protect them. Do you seek my medical hey, buddy. You want military access and you're going to give me money for it. All right. I am down with that plan. Thank you very much. Oh, well, there we go. The infected eye opens. Ugh. Your actions have drawn attention of Nurgle, the Ur Father and Plague Lord. Through his generosity, these gifts should be awarded, yet your influence still has a part to play. We can get Cataclysm of Death. So for five turns, we get the Ashes and Dust ability, which is a bound spell. Now, this is an AoE that does a huge amount of damage to all enemies in the... So basically, that's an I win button. Uh, we can get Hero Capacity plus one for Chaos Sorcerers. Gift, gift of care. Okay, that's not particularly interesting. We could potentially get some plague drones of Nurgle. I kind of want to do that. That's good as well. I don't really care about that at the moment. I, I'm not so worried about that. I kind of just want to do this because it, it feels like this is better for long-term game because obviously you're going to get more chaos sorcerers. This is better just for because I want to use a Cataclysm spell on people. That's probably better long term though, because hero capacity can only get so many heroes. Oh, but I really want to do... Oh, oh I'm going to do that. Oh, so. I'm disappointed in myself, but... But there we go. Evil Eyeball, Iron Skin, Dark Fury, Chaos Familiar, Unearthly Reflexes. Um, should we get a Hideous? But nah, it's not particularly that useful. Evil Eyeball, Diabolical Splendor. Um, I guess Campaign Line of Sight is not the worst thing to, to get. What have you got? Unswayed by change, you get the fires of change. If you're in a battle against Zinch, oppressive force, wound, additional 50% chance for wounding target. Wow, and block an additional block. That's that's very nice. Uh much chance drop chance 15. Win a battle against any demon race. Oh, that's quite good. I reckon, I reckon Daddy is going to go for Crudent. So if we do this, we might be able to catch the little shit. Meanwhile, I'm going to build that because it's going to give me more moolah. I foresee destruction. Do you? Do I want to... Do I want to put a pox upon this house? Almost certainly. Uh, should I mix it up a little bit? What else we got? We got black... Uh, the Black Plague would give us 100% income from sacking. I mean, it's, it's, it's down from the 250. But that might, I was getting like 100k from sacking stuff, so... You know what? Fair play. Weeping Eyes is that one. Alright, let's do one of those. Do that. And... That one. There we go. You need a no, I'm good, thanks. Oh, I'm not going to bother building anything there, because I'm not entirely sure I'm actually in reinforcement range. Come on, God. Come on, Daddy. Go for it. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me, Daddy. Well, that's a surprise. He did... He, Daddy did not come for me. Oh, well. We'll take him from behind. Can we reach him? No. Okay, if we just go into... If we just stay in ambush stance. If I, like, go there. I need to give you better names. But try and block him. Did you did you succeed? You did succeed. Holy shit, good job. Oh, I wouldn't mind stealing technology actually. Do I turn this guy into an agent? Because he does have 50% chance to like wound people, which is pretty good. I think maybe, I think maybe he's gonna be my, my 007. He's gonna be like in house where they just break into people's houses to find out what they're sick with. Because that's that's a fucking normal thing to do. 
swear to God. Uh, you guys can't trade. Is there anyone who likes me? Who likes me? Uh, Warhead of the One Eye. They like me. That's fair enough. Uh, the scaling right, is quite like me. Straight to business. Where yes. shall we raid next? Uh, ships I, are ready. Okay, good to know. You okay? That's fine. What about you guys? Ah, the chaos man. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you kind of like me. Sort of. Making about a K a turn. That's not too bad. Do we actually make any money from settlements? That's what I need to check. I'm not entirely sure which sort of like direction to attack in. Because if we're only going to make little settlements, it's probably not. Maybe I should have tried to befriend. Befriend the. The Greens. Well, the Greens here did declare war on me, but still. Right. Still, hello. <gasps> Holy fuck, you've made a new army. Kazrak, you absolute maniac. Holy balls. All right. Well, looks like, are you... You're not taking attrition, are you? No. But you are... You've got less leadership and less speed. So your guys now move at a speed of 27. Oof. That's not very fast, is it? Can you... You failed, but good try. Let's let's bring. Obviously, it's going to be Doctor Cuddy. Indeed. Right. Let's go and take Daddy. Daddy, don't run. Just make it. Just make it harder on yourself. Uh. Good. Okay. Time to kill Daddy. Someone's having a barbecue on the uh, the edge of that crevasse there. It's probably probably a Brit, to be honest. As soon as the sun comes out, we have barbecues fucking anywhere. Up a tree, the edge of a crevasse, middle of a supermarket car park. Doesn't fucking matter. Just shirt off, belly out, barbecue on, baby. Okay, so we've got a little uh, a little choke point battle here. Very nice. So we come to kill Daddy. There's Daddy. Ooh, it's taking uh, a free shot. The free company militia there. So main force here, led by Festus. And then we got a smaller force with Samuel. Realistically, Samuel should be taking on Daddy, but I don't think he really cares anymore because he's got his wheels. He's got freedom. Daddy doesn't need to uh, to take him anywhere anymore. Beep, beep, motherfuckers. Yeah, straight in there. I, I do like the chariot. I do. I genuinely like the chariot. So we've got the giants with Festus, because obviously Festus can keep them well and truly healed up there. No problem. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like giants. I don't care what anyone says. I just like them. I just think they're neat. And while that's going on, there's Daddy. Daddy's currently getting pounded by two massive giants. Huge. They're massive. Oh. I've yeah, never seen them so big. And he's just absolutely getting railed by them. Meanwhile, Samuel and uh, James fighting back to back. Surrounded by spears, but to be honest, they're having very little effect on Samuel. Samuel does not give a shit. And here comes the rest of our forces coming to join in the fun. Chaos Warhounds showing up behind the enemy lines. Now tearing around, mopping up any crossbows they can find, because those crossbows will go down very, very quickly. Those Chaos Warhounds, they will just get chewed through almost instantly. Not to mention any units that are currently engaged in fighting Chaos Trolls from the front. Samuel's smashing into a big blob of enemies. He's, he's already up to 107, 109, 10 kills. 12, 13. He's, he's killing a lot of people. And I want to try and get him over to help kill Daddy. But to be honest, Daddy, he, he's already had enough. He's, um, to be honest, I'm amazed he survived. But he has. Barely.
You know what? I wasn't sure about the chariot with Samuel, but it looks good on him. Gotta give him that. Oh, don't think that's a lot of infections. More souls? More, I mean, I've got a lot of infections already. I think I'll take the souls. Okay. Well, Daddy's dead. Should we go and, uh... Are you... Wait, are you laying siege to Hairgate? Well, let me come and help. It'd be churlish of me not to assist. Was it? Okay. Good to know. Uh, we could... A flesh tapestry. Is that what happened with all the fle... What's next? A skull hall. Is this... Is this like some sort of... Grand designs like thing? Are we just... Pimping out our... Just making it look nice. I say nice. Uh, let, yes, let's go with the defenses because Minderheim is kind of out here on the on the on the sort of like edges of my well, my my my, my two settlements, my empire. But it's still there. It's still an empire. So that's at level twenty. Oh, if we got that automatically. I see. Uh, I kind of want to go more armor and uh, melee attack for my boys, for my lads. Heroic killing blow? Yes. Uh, when do you get a Chaos War Shrine? Level 14. <gasps> it's, it's happening. As is a pit of shades. Right. We'll go and we'll go and help the the beast men with hair gig. I think go down there and see if they want to uh, want, want some assistance. Uh, let's give you root marcher. Uh, you know what? Experience isn't isn't the worst thing. We can't give you anything else because I spent I spent all the money. Sorry, I fritted it away. Oh, we can now get chosen. You haven't okay, if we if we come in to help. Can I upgrade you anywhere? Or only in my own territory? I can do it anywhere. We need to be ranked seven. So you need to be gold chevron before I can do that. So let's bring you guys both down here. And you can calm down here. To be honest, I I thought Midland was a little bit dead, but apparently Boris is Boris is dead. What happened to oh, Kazrak? Did you lose your entire army again? Oh, defensive alliance. We give you money. You will. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, you just wandered off. All right, fair play. Uh, can I, now Ka Ka Kazrak? Ka Kazrak, my friends. Can I build a thingy? <gasps> I can! Oh, yes. Okay. I get I get Beastie Boys in my army without actually having to play Beastie Boys. Beastmen was almost my first... My first campaign, to be honest. It was close. Uh, Chaos... Oh, mm, well, well mm, Chaos Sport... Well, maybe... No, that's Forsaken even. Uh, Infernal March would be nice. Dark Diplomacy might not be the worst choice. Getting some Chaos Knights, though. Getting some Chaos Knights, though. Hmm. Because I'm thinking that's going to give us some fast-moving units, isn't it? It's going to give us a little bit of a... a little bit of extra punch. Now, currently, I'm just up... I, what I... Right, what I think I want to do... Is currently our army is quite a lot of chaos warriors with great weapons, but the plan is we're going to turn some of those to chaos knights, and we're also going to trade some of them to. Uh, in fact, thinking about this, can I then? I guess once they oh, so I can't get aspiring champions. Yeah, so what I'm going to have to do. Because if you give them a mark, they can't become aspiring champions. Yes. Okay. So. 
thinking about this, probably what I need to do is is have some non-marked Chaos Warriors to turn into aspiring champions. Basically, because of the upgrade system, I think they're going to have to do a little bit of trading around of different different types of units. So, like this guy, oh, we could just recruit aspiring champions. A ten percent chance, but but it is a chance. So we could potentially do that. But um, having these upgraded units, we can then trade them to starter armies, such as Cuddy here. And then we can get some different units. Because obviously I want some like war shrines and stuff like that in there. That'll be quite good. Some Gorby's chariots, maybe, because actually I do quite like chariots. Can we get Nurgle chariots? We can't get Ch Chaos Chariot of Nurgle. We would need a Marauder Horseman of Nurgle. So that's something we're potentially going to have to do. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.